Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Listen, we about to get into this green neon makeup. If you want to see how I get my eyeshadows to pop, then keep on watching this video, period. So, we're going to start off with a fresh face, and I'm going to be taking the Glow Recipes Banana Moisturizer, and I'm just going to moisturize my face, get my skin prepped for the makeup application. And then I'm going to take some Frisali Unicorn Essence Serum. This is just a primer to make my makeup last. And then a Skin Blur Primer from Frisali as well, just to make my face look very face-tuned and blurred out. And then I'm going to take Gotta Be Glue, which is what I use on my gel. I use the clear Gotta Be Glue gel on my brows with the eyebrow spoolie. And I just put my brows into place. This is all that I use on my brows. No extra, no product added, just brow gel to make them, well not brow gel, just Gotta Be Glue gel to make them stay in place all day. But yeah, period. And honey, it's the baby hairs for me. Like, it is the baby hairs for me. They look so good. If you want to know how I got my hair like this, I will be uploading a tutorial on how I got my hair like this. This will, That video will be up this week. Um... Maybe sad. I'm gonna try to get it up by Saturday. So definitely subscribe to my channel. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell everyone you know to subscribe so y'all can know when I upload, when I post. When you, if you want to see this, turn on your post notifications. If you want to see how I got my hair like this, subscribe. Tell everyone you know to subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at Lemonade Jade so y'all can see the pictures of this final look. And I'm really active on social media, like when it comes to my videos. So definitely add me on Instagram as well. Follow me. And these are my feather brows. Then I'm going to take the Juvia's Place um, palette. And then I'm going to take that dark blue shade. Now, I already primed my eyes. I just used concealer. But first, what you want to do is you want to place the color down and really get that, that pigment first. Place the color down first. Then you take a smaller brush. I'm taking, as you can see, a smaller, more detailed brush. And then I'm blending it out. Then I'm taking another, that same brush that I started with, and I'm just fluffing it out, just so it's not any harsh lines. Then I take another small defining brush. I'm really just putting, like, mapping it out of where the green is going to go. And then I'm really going in and just, like, blurring out any harsh lines. This is a clean blending brush to just... Get away with any harsh lines and any just, everything just needs to be blended out really good. So that's why I use clean brushes, especially when I'm dealing with colors, just to make sure anything isn't like harsh. So definitely, and I'm going back in, adding more color, just to really build the color up. You really want to use a detailed brush to pack it on and blend it out, just so you can be precise on where you want to put the color. Then I cut my crease already off camera and then I'm taking this Mayo Makeup Pigment and this is in their green shade and I'm just packing that on. So another way to get your eyeshadows to be very pigmented is to really build the color up. You have to build it up and you blend it out really seamlessly as you can see. I'm really just packing that on. These are pigments so that's another good way to get your eyeshadows to pop by using pigments. And then I am once again adding more color, just really placing that color down first and then blending it out so I get the best pigment. And boom, it looks great. Now it's all blended out. Once everything is blended out and you've blended everything out a hundred times, then you can move on. And yeah, using pigments. I love these Mayo Makeup pigments. They are Super amazing, super pigmented. All you need to do is just place concealer down and then they are very pigmented. <clears throat> and they're super affordable. Excuse me, so I'll leave that in the link below. 
and uh, yeah just make sure that you practice and you're gonna get your eyeshadows to be popping you want to use a light concealer as your base that's another way to get your eyeshadows to really pop and I usually like use white but I just didn't feel like it I have a white concealer um, that I use sometimes when I'm working with colors so you can try that to get your eyeshadows to pop and really just blend it out pack the color on and yeah <laughs> that's how you get on it to get your eyeshadows to really get the most pigment from your eyeshadows and here I'm just making a TikTok. <laughs> Add me on TikTok. I was making a TikTok. Here was so, oh my gosh. And the TikTok. Making a TikTok. I had to get better in practice. I'll leave my TikTok in the description box. As well as the products that I use. This is my regular makeup routine. I'm using the ABH and Anastasia Beverly Hills. Ugh. <laughs> ABH and Amrezy Highlighter. And blush, of course. I put blush everywhere, not just on the apples of my cheek. And blush can really contour your face as well. So I just put it everywhere because I love it so much. And then I'm taking this Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is just going to set the makeup, all the makeup in place. And just really make the face really come together. I love, 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 love this Maybelline um, finishing powder. It definitely sets all your makeup and just makes it look so flawless. I really love it. And boom, now I have on lashes. I was wondering, at first while I was doing this tutorial, I was like, something is not right. And it was because I don't have on lashes. Like, lashes can really take you from girl to girl. Like, baby, them lashes gonna make it pop. So now I'm trying the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I mean, what? What is wrong with me? The Fenty Beauty Mascara. And this is my first time trying it. Well, actually, I've tried it a few times, but it's a new product for me. For me, mascara, I mean, I don't know. I use it because, I mean, but just for, like, my lashes. I have straight lashes, so... They never really pop, so mascara. This is my first high-end mascara, but I like it. It works. <laughs> I'm not a mascara genius or anything like that, a mascara guru. Like, I'm not crazy about mascara, so any mascara works for me. But yeah, I just decided to throw some little dyes just to make it a little bit more festive. Why not? Why not? Now I am just putting concealer in my inner corner. I was gonna just leave it concealer in the inner corner but then I was like you know what let me add some white just to really top it off so I put some white in my inner corner and like I said really pack it on use concealer before you use a shadow an eyeshadow and then really pack it on and that's how you're gonna get the most color then I sprayed my face with glow recipes watermelon um Watermelon spray. I love that spray. I love Glow Recipe. Y'all should definitely check them out. I'm new to trying them. But I like their products so far. Outline my lips with NYX Lip Liner and Brown. Y'all know the drill. Then I forgot that I got the Fenty Beauty's new cream blushes. Totally forgot. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use it on my lips. So I used the cream blush as a lip color. And I just put it on my finger and just really like dabbed it on and it looked really cute on my lips. I thought it really made the look look super cute. I don't want my lips to have too much going on because my eyeshadow is over the top. But this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.